We're going to unbox this D-Link 24 port gigabit desktop switch. This is called a DGS1024A. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. environmentally friendly packaging. Uh, the box talks about the energy consumption. I'm going to actually use a watt meter and we'll we'll check that out. See what it actually ends up using with a bunch of devices plugged in. So we have a warranty sheet, quick install guide, a PDF that's available online. power supply that's extremely lightweight. Let's have a close look at the sticker here. 1.5 amp 12 volt. Okay. Extremely lightweight. Is there anything else in there? Yes. Wall mount screws. Got wall mount screws, power, Unit. Open that up. See what's on the sw switch itself. Okay. I'll just play already as well. You'll notice, uh, which is something I noticed online and Amazon, um, there's some old pictures out there. There's no longer metal around the sockets. It's all just plastic. I would say if you're not doing, you know, many insertions and removals of cables it's probably just fine if this is intended for a rough environment with a lot of cable moves maybe it's not your best choice all right let's see what that says Get the focus there we go 1.5 amps talks about polarity here's a look inside the ports there are no leds on the back here let's go around front And you will see a very simple design with LEDs for each port. And I believe the color is going to signify the speed. Let's now look at power consumption. We'll turn the power strip on. We'll set the display to watts, zero watts. And I'll go ahead and plug it in. Lights lit up. Nine watts with no devices plugged in. An initial boot settling down to five or six and a single LED in the front. Whoa. Still doing some sort of boot sequence, it would seem. Okay, five watts. Now I'll go grab a cable and we'll plug that in. It's going to be a 50 foot cable. It's a decent length, bright orange. There's going to be no LEDs in the back when we plug it in. We don't expect them. This device doesn't have them. But on the front, we immediately get an LED. So that's port 23. There is a small indication of the port number at the bottom here. There you go. So port 1 is going to be top left. Now I plugged it in. And we get a green LED, which must mean gigabit, because I know it's plugged into a gigabit port. What did that do to power? Nothing. So we actually don't see a watt burn increase with just one device. Now it's time to replace a rat's nest power strip set up. I've got the rather bulky net gear power adapter that comes with the bottom Ethernet switch. So the GS116 gigabit switch, 16 port switch, 1.2 amps. So right there we know it's going to be higher. So 
17, 21, 22, okay. Didn't miss much, it turns out. All right, and they've already settled down. So 22 watts seems to be the steady state with this combination of two switches, both 16 ports in design. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and replace both switches. The 24 port gigabit switch is in place now. The D-Link DGS1024, I'm going to turn it on in a second. When I turn on the power strip, right here, and I want to hit down on the kilowatt so we can see the number of watts. So we are using 8 watts now during the power-up sequence. Let's watch the LEDs on the front bezel of the unit. We're going to see a mix of 100 and 1000 megabit devices. So gigabit is green. Lit up like a Christmas tree, all the LEDs at first, and now we get flickering lights for activity. So there we have it, 7 watts. Not bad. I've gone from 20 watts with two switches that ran kind of warm, down to a single gigabit switch. And I have some ports to spare, saving 13 watts. This is left running 24-7. So I am happy with the successful resolution of this project. I have more gigabit ports than I had before. I've rearranged the cabling a bit. We have the 100 megabit devices mostly at the left and four gigabit devices showing in green in the middle. So that's the end of this look at the DGS1024A D-Link 24 port gigabit switch. Thank you for watching and for visiting tinkertry.com.